It must be the end of the world. Because with all the shit that's going on, I have found myself reading books. Now, I know books aren't the heaviest hitters for most people that work in IT these days, because Lord knows, reading IT documentation, it's, it's boring. It's, it's nap time material, right? <clears throat> well, I have stumbled across a book that I think is worth your while. It's titled Introduction to Fortigate Part 1. It's by Daniel Howard. He is an NSE 8 technical account manager for Fortinet, actually. So, he still, he works there. You know, he's the guy that you want if you call Fortinet support. And, uh, it's, it's worth looking at. This is what it looks like. Before I dive in and explain why this book is probably going to be worth your while, especially if you don't have a whole bunch of experience in FortiGate hardware, or if you're just looking to uh, brush up and understand more of the why, I want to be perfectly transparent with you. I am in no way, shape, form, or fashion being paid for this review, um, unless you count a signed copy, which I did request from the author. So just know that this opinion of this book is my true opinion. Um, Take it for what it's worth. The book may be, you know, the one thing that sets you on your path to being a very high quality Fortinet engineer, or you might find it to personally be trash. But I'm going to explain to you why I like it and why I think it's useful for you. One of the main things that I find interesting, since I already have a pretty strong foundation on what all I'm talking about, is the fact that this book includes something I consider little tool tips. They're really just knowledge tips or something like that. But they look like this little guy. Little breaks in the information that give you useful details or interesting information. For instance, this specific one says as of 2020, there were over 25,000 NSC4 certificate holders. A couple of pages back, it actually goes into detail as to the average salary of a Fortinet engineer. So there's lots of little cool gotchas or nice to knows and things like that that really help make life easy for you. Or at least educational, right? The primary thing I like about this book, though, is it's excellent for a novice. And there's a couple reasons why. The first reason is the way the material is laid out. The author did a phenomenal job of explaining to the reader not only how to do things, but the why behind them. And it did so in a manner that doesn't cause the reader to feel ignorant, stupid, um, you know, there's no condescending tone to it which I feel from an IT perspective, especially for users that are just now getting into it, one of the most important things we can do as intellectuals or mentors or you know teachers or anything like that is try not to be condescending because the last thing you want to do is pull someone's legs out from under them while they're diving in. The text is extremely easy to follow. He's got very high quality photos that make sense. They're intuitive and they help you guide along. Um, he does recommend that you have a FortiGate while you read through the book because, let's face it, hands-on experience goes a long ways. But another thing that's really, really crucial about this is the fact that every chapter has a summary, which, duh, I mean, that's pretty common, right? But he also has a very intuitive end-of-chapter quiz. Now, this isn't a quiz where you're like, oh, I just got to get the answer. No, they're quizzes that are formulated in a way that they make you think more about what you're doing so you can actually understand the material. Major highlights of the book is he actually goes into detail about terms and acronyms that are specific to Fortinet, as well as ones that are more broad for industry. So like if you're going through an RMA process, you, don't, you might not know what DOA is. Most people do, but you know, DOA, dead on arrival. My hardware showed up dead. And he goes in and he breaks that down for you. So if you're ever talking with a Fortinet engineer, you're not gonna be side swiped by some terminology that you may or may not understand. The biggest thing I find interesting about this is the fact that he actually does a deep dive on the different licensing models and what all is included in it, as well as the RMA process and the HQIP test. You'd be surprised at how many times I ask people to do an HQIP test and they're completely ignorant to what it is, much less the documentation that they try to follow isn't very clear on how to actually, you know, cable things and run the test. That way they can get sped along in the process of troubleshooting. All in all, if you are looking for a book that is worth your time, worth the money, and will provide you a strong foundation to be a better engineer, this is probably one to look at. William Daniel Howard, NSE 8, Fortinet Technical Account Manager. 
He knows his stuff. He explains it clearly and concisely. He gives you details that you wouldn't otherwise know about Fortinet. And since he works as a TAM for Fortinet now, you know, it might not be as unbiased as me, but he's the guy that you want to answer the phone when you call. So please click the link in the description, check it out. Remember, it's not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money off this. Um, just trying to pass along something that I think is worthwhile. So until next time, guys, stay safe.